Hey guys, what's up? Kanrick is finally back and finally doing... Oh, but you didn't see that. Um, and uh, is finally doing a video, and as you can see, graphics are a little bit different. I installed Optifine, and I am using Anvenom's Faithful back, mostly because I like the grass. Yeah, that, that's my entire reasoning for it, and I'm not even kidding. Um, anyways, I know I've been was doing a whole thing with 1.3. Don't know what I'm going to do with that now, but... Today I thought I would just share a building creation, and we're gonna turn around and there it is. Yeah, it's uh my new house on this server, or not really server this map. I know I have like three peaceful maps, but I think this is gonna be the one just because I like it the most. So we're gonna go down here because, as you can see, there is no other way to it. Well, there is another way, but you'll see that in a minute. So I was told that shoutouts are appreciated, but I'm going to do it because I know that's what that means. Um, shoutouts to Thunder18. A uh, buddy of mine used to work as an admin with me. Well, I worked with him because he was the admin first. On uh, Utitan's old forums. And he's actually getting back into YouTube, so if you guys like Pokemon videos, I would go check him out because he's going to be back making videos. But he actually designed the house. I designed the outs a little bit of the stuff on the outside. I laid the inside, and I made this area to go up into the house because when you get to this part, as you can see, there is absolutely no way, unless you're on creative, to get up here or if you're really good at jumping. Not even over here. I made sure of it because I wanted to make sure that no mobs could get over here. Wow. No, I don't think they could even get in. No, they can't because the fence blocks them. So, yeah, this how this is completely impenetrable. Um, any mobs that get on the roof or come around cannot get down from that balcony, which is how it was designed. Again, this was all done by... Uh, the design work was Thunder, and I actually built it. Chose the textures, like the wood, and as you can see, some of the stone work used to frame it. But I enjoyed it, so we're, you know, we'll go inside. Nice little cozy uh, first floor. I did make it four blocks to the ceiling layer, only because I wanted a little bit more you know, headspace for this floor. Um, most of the chests are empty right now. I do have all of these lined up, you know, for whenever I get, like, if I do a mining expedition, then I can be, like, iron, iron, gold, gold, something, something. I don't know. And then over here I have my little enchanting station. I don't know if this actually is enough to get to max. I haven't tried it yet, obviously. I don't have the uh, experience to do so, but I think I have enough bookcases since it got reduced to 30. And then in here I have an ender chest. Nothing is in the ender chest right now, but it's an ender chest. I figured I'd hide it just to be sneaky. Um, so we come up here, and this is kind of like the bedroom. It's pretty bare mostly because I didn't. I'm still thinking about stuff to like put in here. Um, I might try to put like a table setting in here or something like use uh, steps and signs to make chairs and whatnot. But I do have the dot like the quote unquote king size bed with some pictures hanging up. And I am going to be writing books and stuff, so like if I ever put this map up for download, people can read stuff. Yay! And probably nobody will. Yay! Anyways, um, coming up here, we have my little inside farm that I have wheat over here, pumpkin over here, come over here, we have melons, some uh, sugar cane, and more wheat. And if you come outside, this is my favorite part, and I can leave this door open with like nothing to worry because nothing can really get up on the roof, and this whole area is fenced in. If you come up here, open this fence, and besides that I have lights in the ground because I thought it'd be cool. I have all of my little animal friends, and they are so happy to be captive in here, and they're not trying to get out. Isn't that right, animal friends? Isn't that right, chicken? Oh, he almost made it out. Trying to escape. Trying to escape. Trying to escape. Yeah, I see you there. I don't even know where you where, hey, hey, where'd he, where'd he go. Is that him? No, that's not him. Oh, that's him. Okay. Yeah, experience. And there's a gate here, which goes. I have a, I have a chicken who escaped. This is not good. I'm gonna have to breed more chickens, or because I'm gonna have to kill them all. Oh well. There's more chickens in the area, so I can always breed more. But uh. Yeah, that's more or less my uh, little area over there. That's the house I wanted to show. Um, let's see, let's do an aerial. Oh yeah, slash. 
All right, we'll come over here, and as you can see, this is the uh, building I just wanted to showcase. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I do like the design, and I oh, there's a chunk load area area there. Yeah, area air whatever. And I, I thought it was pretty cool. I added this just so there was light at the bottom. Um, these are supposed to be like support beams holding it into the mountain. And his whole idea was to build, you know, a house that's impervious to most mobs into the side of a mountain. Um, I don't think it's even possible for like a spider to get inside, even if they were big enough to get through the door. Um, I, of course, this is peaceful, but that you can't obviously change this map to survive like a survival setting if you wanted to. But like I, I yeah, as you can see, it's it's kind of fun. I, I do enjoy it, and it's nice to just have this nice little peaceful setting. It's overlooking a nice area of the map, which is kind of what I was aiming for. Uh, I'm gonna try to do videos more often, obviously. Um, the reason I could have done more today, but I didn't. I was actually out card shopping all day. Yes. So my my excitement right there, my nerdgasm right there. But uh, that's about it for the house tour. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time when I come up with something new. Alright, see you guys.